All right, YouTube, this is Tony with TG Lawn Maintenance. Today, I'm going to show you something very important that everyone should do through the winter, and that's uh, remove your battery. And I'm going to show you, I'm going to take it down to my garage and show you what I do with it. So, when removing a battery, let's not forget that we got to do the negative first, then the positive. So, let's switch this around here. We're gonna get this off here. Now we're gonna do the positive. Let's make sure the negative's not touching anything. All right, guys, I got the battery off, and I'm gonna meet you down in my garage. Okay, we're back in my garage here. Uh, you see me remove the uh, battery from the mower. Um, there's two ways you can use this uh, battery tender, which I got from Royal King. Um, so there it is there, it's just called battery tender. Uh, if I had electricity in my shed, I would just use this connector and this connects directly to the battery. And then when you're, you're ready to use the motor, you just unplug this and, and go about your day. But I don't have electricity up there, so I'm gonna use kind of the jumper cable style. And uh, when you see me take the battery off, I did negative first. So when you put it back on, we're gonna start with positive. So all you gotta do is uh, plug in the tender Make sure these two things are not touching. We're gonna hook up positive first. And then we're gonna take the negative and hook up the negative. All right, so you see there a red steady light. That means the battery is connected properly and it's charging. Um, when it's a green light flashing, that means it's, it's greater than 80% charged. So as you can see, this battery was a little low. And then when it's a, a green light is steady, kind of like the red one, it'll be green. That means the battery's charged and you can leave this, uh, take it off and use it, or you can just leave it charging all winter like I'll do and it would just kick on and off as needed. So again, I hope this video helped you out. Uh, I think it's very important unless you want to spend $70 every year on a battery if you leave it connected through the winter. Um, so I recommend getting one of these. Hopefully this helped you and I'll catch you guys on the next one.